Hey guys, how you doing? Sorry for being MIA, but me keeping my head down as well as the rest of the Sim Settlements team trying to push out Chapter 3 in a timely manner. I do have interviews on the way. I have Ghost Faces. He is the head of the Galactac. These, these guys make really high quality mod armor and also tactical gear, as well as some really sweet Mandalorian inspired armor. Someone from my community suggested uh, this his team because obviously Starfield, this would be a great match for. And plus all the Star Wars mods, I'm sure that's coming. I'm also gonna be talking to King Gath as soon as he can find an hour to uh, sit down and talk. Of course, he is absolutely inundated with work, but I'll let you know, hopefully I can get him to talk before Starfield. And if you guys have any other mod authors you want me to talk to before Starfield, we only got about a month left, so let me hear it down below. And let's see, what else we got here? Oh, the whole point of this video, right. All right, let's have some fun with this. This is my top five categories that I'm looking forward to in Starfield. Me putting this out there is kind of like um, creating a Christmas list for Santa. Instead of Santa, I'm asking the holy order of modders to uh, unify, to make my dreams come true. Please, guys. So for my number five is fleets and stations. This is number five because I'm not sure where Starfield is landing on these. I don't know if we get our own capital ship. I'm not sure if we get our own space station. I'm going to assume no, but even if they do, I think it will be bare bones. So I'm gonna be looking for the community probably right out the gate to modify existing space stations and make them our own. I think with some clever modifications, we can get that pretty quick. And further down the line, I would love to see a third party tool that gives us the ability to use that shipbuilding application that's already existing in the game for something like stations or even capital ships. I don't know if Starfield has any of these plans for the future of the DLCs, such as full ship battles and whatnot. Once again, I doubt it. So I think it's going to be resting on the modern community. And I think a lot of people are looking forward to having their own fleet and space stations that are active and not just glorified houses. So number four is random encounters. I like this a lot because we get the opportunity to have this game that is set up on encounters integrating. So this means that the quests are following you and when you accomplish certain things, they will show up on the planet that you are visiting at that moment. So this gives us a lot of power to integrate many more encounters with different conditions. So if you do this mission, then maybe we create some more random encounters that can pop up now that makes sense after you've completed this other one so that you're not running around and finding a high level dungeon before you were supposed to do a quest previously. I like this idea so you don't feel like you're missing out by taking one direction or another. And that said, I think pretty soon after we get the game and the CK, we should be able to make some simple quirky encounters. Think of Fallout 2, where you're wandering the wasteland and you can encounter, you know, smooth, crazy aliens or people getting mowed down in the middle of the Mojave and you get your choice of do you help or not or run into dog meat. Stuff like that I think will add a lot to this game. I believe if the modding community gets creative with it, we can have a lot of fun with encounters. We can have visitors come to our outpost when we accomplish something to request help because they heard about something amazing we did. They could be like, hey, you gotta help. My uncle's trapped on the toilet or, you know, maybe something more important than that. Of course, this carries on into space encounters, but absolutely no naggy pirates that just seem to be around every corner asking uh, if I'll drop my cargo. That's not what I want. What I am looking for is something similar to Red Dead Redemption 2, where you just go around and you could sit down and see a guy drinking and talk to him about his life and drink with him until he passes out. Something like that, but of course in space. You're not going to sit out in space and drink with someone. I, I don't know, maybe that could be a quest. Now, later down the line, when we've had the CK for a while and we figured out how the systems work, then we could start thinking about the really fun random encounters where it's whole settlements that have many quests and that they can actually probably overlap with other mod authors. Where if we have a mod author doing a dungeon, we can tie it into our own. So if you visit our planet, 
you can activate the next quest and it'll lead you right to this person's custom dungeon. I think this incentivizes us as the modding community to talk more amongst each other to create these really expansive quests without it being on one team's shoulders. Okay, number three. Now this is one I will hopefully be working on as long as I could figure out the creation kit too. And that's NPC crews, just like there are in Sim settlements. You have settlers, you can go see them, get a little origin story. They have some deeper dialogue than the generic that comes with the game. And they're fun to have around your settlement or ship. I think that will probably be pretty soon after we get the CK, we can start making that happen. Hopefully I can make that happen as well. And hopefully later on, we can get entire settlements that are fully voiced. And this can go in with the random encounters that can be tied together. Now, I must admit, I have a pipe dream with this. I really think it would be cool to create a colony, have a discord, everybody becomes a citizen and a bunch of mod authors come together and people vote. They go, oh, I want this settlement to be about making ammunition, clothing, weapons. Uh, we'll vote in a mayor. This is how I want the buildings. This is the place the, the place we're gonna build. And it changes as it goes and everybody has a say in it. So you turn the single player game into having a little bit of old school multiplayer online, you know, text-based type stuff. I think that'd be really cool. Now, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Also at this point, this is when we can start getting those fully voiced companions like Lucian and Heather. Those guys have a lot of dialogue and they need a lot of conditions. So hopefully the characters we get already in Starfield will give us a good foundation so that we're able to get those really nice companions a little bit sooner than we did with Fallout 4. But of course, it's a lot of work and I understand if it takes time. Okay, number two. Now I know you guys probably will be surprised that this is my number two and not number one. But that's vehicles. I think at first the best we can hope for is like a hover bike or glider with your jump pack. Now I know the glider is a bit chintzy, but I think that would be the easiest to implement and at least give you some headcanon as to why people don't invest in vehicles on the ground. Hover bike would also be nice because you don't have to worry about the physical terrain. You can weave around trees so you don't need to start worrying about destructible landscapes. Now that brings me to me daring to hope that someone out there gets so deep into it that they do make destructible landscapes where they actually take all these 3D models and make animations and, oh, I can't even imagine all the work that would take to turn all that stuff destructible. But once again, this is my fantasy list. And if we can't have that, this is another dream, but low atmospheric flight? I don't need to go from space and see it all the way down and then land on the planet. That would be nice, but can we at least have a way where we can do a slower maneuver above the tree lines to go to our next destination? I have a feeling there's a reason Bethesda didn't implement this because it would take a lot of resources for both vehicles and ships, but I think the modding community is pretty rallied around this point of the game. We shall see. And for my number one is, of course, survival. I'll say it again. I think survival mechanics in Bethesda games really bring a lot to the game. And it doesn't take any more resources because Bethesda throws in so many items that you can just change the stats to and make them actually useful. We've already seen that the food in the game is just food. Basically, it just heals you. It's just a health potion. Now, I know not everybody is into hardcore mode or survival mechanics in general, but this is where something like Flashy Joe porting over his options, which allows us to tweak it to how we want, where we can have sliders and make it the way we want to play it. I just think having those options allows us to get a lot from this game. Of course, we're going to probably see fuel, hopefully emergency landing and field repairs, I think relatively soon after. Emergency landing may be a cutscene, but I still think it would add some depth to the dangers of space. And this one may seem odd, but I want some ammunition restriction. Every time I play a Bethesda game, I have a thousand arrows or 
more ammunition than I can count within an hour or two of playing the game. I like having a little bit of struggle where I can manufacture ammo or encourage to manufacture specialized ammo. Because if I'm gonna make it, why not make the best? But after we get those initial survival mechanics, that's when a year or two down the line, we can hopefully start getting some really fun things like powerful weather events where you have to find shelter or build shelter. Otherwise, you're going to get cooked by lightning or sucked into a tornado. And this one's a little random, but I want a tricorder. Now, I know I feel like there's not as many Trek fans out there as I, I'd like to believe, but I've always wanted a tricorder that has some real use. I don't want it to find iron. I, I don't want to see like, oh, there's a deposit here. That's not what I'm into. I want to see anomalies. I want to see some really fun, quirky things that I can only see with this tricorder. And if I missed it, no big deal. But if I find it, oh, maybe I can get a permanent bonus or something like that, where it gives me a true reason to use a fun toy like a tricorder. And I can, you know, live out my fantasy of my childhood. And lastly on this list, I want soft death where we die, but we're not really dead. Instead, we have the random encounter system that has already been touted in Starfield, but we go to prison, we're stranded, uh, and then we need mechanics that would help us get rescued. Like we can put down a beacon or autopilot retrieval or, you know, watch any sci-fi and find out how they escape and then implement that as a way for us to add a soft death mechanic. I think that would take a lot of work. That is definitely a lot of options you need to put in it to make it interesting and not just the same thing over and over again. But once again, this is my fantasy. <laughs> hey guys, I appreciate you so much watching this through. I already recorded this whole thing and it failed. I don't know if it's because of the heat, so I had to re-record it. So I would appreciate it if you love this video to throw up a thumbs up. Um, and if you are into this content, please subscribe. It means the world to me. Uh, I have my Discord down below. If you have mod authors you want to talk to or you have questions you want me to ask them, I'm always responding and I love to hear what you guys say. More importantly, I want to know your guys' top fives. I missed a bunch. I mean, we got Thomas the Tank Engine. We got Uwu Girls. We got, I don't know, Mecha Godzilla. Show me where I've gone astray. And tell me how I need to change my top five. And as always, guys, stay safe and mod reckless.